Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Thompson with you here on what has been a chilly Saturday across the region. High temperatures only reaching the mid 50s Saturday afternoon. 15 degrees below average for this time of year and that's going to transition into a very chilly night. So cold in fact that there's going to be some areas of patchy frost likely across the region. National Weather Service has issued a frost advisory right along the I-75 corridor from Toledo down to the uh, Finley area and also for all of our eastern counties. Even though there's not an advisory for our western counties in southeast Michigan, you're not entirely out of the woods either. Some frosts also possible in these locations. I don't expect a widespread killing frost, but it will be chilly enough for some of those patchy areas to form. So if you've got any sensitive plants out in that garden, you may just want to cover them up or if you can bring them inside, such as those potted plants. And if you need to cover them up, all you need to do is throw a tarp or maybe a bed sheet on them. That should be plenty enough to get them through the night. We're not talking brutally cold temperatures. We are going to stay above freezing, though not by much. Frost can start to form once you get down to around 36 degrees, and that's pretty much where we're looking at for low temperatures across most of our area. There's some spotty showers throughout the day as well as expected, all being swirled around by this area of upper level low pressure, but it is starting to make its way on out of the area. High pressure is moving in, so that means you can expect a lot more sunshine as we go through the day on Sunday. It's also going to help to start warm things up as well, so it's definitely looking better here for the second half of the weekend once we get through this chilly night. Take a look at your TrueView forecast. All the showers out there will be coming to an end as we go through the overnight hours and the skies will be clearing, but that's going to help in that frost development. As we go through the day on Sunday, I do expect dry conditions. You see this model trying to pop up a few more showers, but I think with high pressure in control, it's going to suppress any of these showers from forming. You may see some of those poofy cumulus clouds, though, as we go through the day Sunday, but that's about it. Shaping up to be much, much nicer out there once we get through that cold morning. We're going to be dry for the day Monday. Very comfortable temperatures here as we do return to season levels we could be about right around the 70 degree mark. Our next chance for rain looks to come overnight Monday into Tuesday morning. Start to introduce a chance for some scattered showers, maybe even a thunderstorm or two, and that trend's going to continue as we go through the middle of the week. But the system is also going to help to bring in even warmer air for the middle of next week as well. We'll make a run for 80 degrees. But for the rest of our Saturday night into Sunday morning, skies clearing out, no temperatures in the mid 30s. So it's going to be quite chilly out there and it's going to help lead to that patchy frost across the region. So you may need those coats when you head out the door early Sunday morning, but by the afternoon you can shed the coats and the jackets probably for the t-shirts once again. We'll be about 10 degrees warmer than we have been for the past few days, looking for highs in the mid 60s. Probably mostly sunny for the morning, turning partly cloudy for the afternoon, but should be a very nice Sunday for you. Even better for Monday with those highs around 70 degrees, and as I said, we get warmer for Tuesday and Wednesday, though we do have those scattered showers and thunderstorm chances as we do make that run for 80 degrees by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. We are going to have a cold front slide through will knock temperatures back just a little bit for the end of next week, but nothing too bad. Low 70s for Thursday, maybe just falling back into the upper 60s for next Friday, but certainly not as cold as it has been for the last few days. So I think once we get through our Saturday, we're done with the 50 degree highs for quite some time as we've got a lot of 60 and 70 degree weather here over the next 10 days. That's a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.